What's up, everybody? Hey, this is Dean's Daily Doses. Playing some Ghostbusters World here. I'm going to do a little how-to or tips and tricks, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go right from the very beginning of the game. Where you touch start here. I've had a lot of people ask questions about the game, so I'm going to try to get everything answered here in the little tips and tricks video. Ectosphere is complete. Alright, oh, here we go. So you click that. Alright. We'll, we'll just start off with the screen here. You got your menu button. We'll just open it real quick. It's got the different areas, which I'll be going through all the missions. And that's your missions to receive rewards. Uh, the store, uh, the ghost dimension, I'll go through those, uh, story mode, I'm stuck there, I couldn't go no further, but like I said, well, I'll go back through it here, I'm just showing you real quick, my containment unit is full, I left it full because I want to show you something. Here a little later. The ghost tracker that shows the different ghosts that are around you. You know, like if, if I get that one, then I may have one of these others pop up after or two or three or whatever. The remote gate, that's what I placed right by my by my house. Yeah, see the remote gate, you can move it and place it other places, but if you move it from here, it costs you to, you know, once you place it, then you have to pay to move it. And you want the remote gate, I put it by my house because I'm here all the time. That way different ghosts pop up, stuff like that right by the house. Um, ecto goggles, you can click it, I don't have any, and my containment's full. Uh... The ecto goggles allows you to get light ghosts or dark ghosts. So when you click it, you put on goggles and then different ghosts show up. Every, every once in a while you'll find light or dark out in the wild, but that that brings them to, to it. Now this up here, the Vigo arrives in, that's, that's your big ghost. And see, you can move these out of the way on the screen. The three on the right... I don't use them very often. A lot of people use this ghost tracker, but when I'm out and about, you know, you can kind of see as they pop up. So, uh, we'll put it over here. Uh, we'll bring that back out. Now, I just click on, instead of that little to the left arrow, I just click right where it says Vigo arrives in. I click on it, and this tells where it is. Walmart, Combat Air Museum, Dornwood, uh, Nine-Tailed Fox, all these different ones. Uh, Ghostmaster. I haven't played a Ghostmaster yet. I've done Nine-Tailed Fox. I've done Vigo. And that's it. Ghostmaster. I've never been there. Single, single player. So it shouldn't be too bad. Vigo, he's not too bad. And for your ghost your bosses and your your bigger ghosts you want to i use my boss and darts they're a little faster a little more powerful so all right we'll start with the store all right now in the beginning when you're level zero through 20 or whatever there is a level up bundle um yeah the level up package $4.99. I highly recommend it because as you level up each level, I didn't get it until uh, about halfway through. I didn't know that's what it was. I didn't realize it was good. But it's $4.99 and you get all this stuff and as you level up, you get more, you get more, you get more. So as you can see, you get gems, which are, are good to buy stuff, uh, traps, double XP, more gems. Ecto goggle batteries, which are, like I said, that's how you get your light and dark ghosts. Um, coins. 
See all this different stuff. So it really helps you out building up, getting past level 20. All right, now in your store you got your bundles. You can get other bundles here. Uh, Stances busting bundle. That's a monthly. Is that mo yeah, that's monthly. Like I said, I I don't do these. You can, but that's up to you guys. Tells what you get in in each one of these. You just click on it. Now see, that's a thousand PK or a thousand of those uh, gems. Currency. You get. You can buy gems. Oh, wait a minute. Went too fast. Coins. You, you can trade your stuff for coins. Your gems for coins. Items. All right. Now see here. This is. This, to me, this is a better deal. Uh, you get a hundred balls and darts for thirty of those. So as I would run out, I, that's what I used my gems for. Was to buy balls and darts. I didn't buy coins. I didn't buy none of the other stuff. I bought. I bought the balls and darts so I could battle the the stuff the bigger ghost boss ghost i should have bought a, a cyto converter so i could do two spheres at once instead of one but still not bad with one and in the the level up pack you get ecto goggle batteries so um i, I never bought any phantom keys you get them in rewards uh, I didn't use any of the other stuff. Um, expansions, there you go. Now, I did do these, the Klein bottle. Uh, it expands 50 slots for the containment unit. Gives you 50 more ghosts. I think I did that a couple times. Ectosphere tray. Huh. I don't think I did that. Alright, the next one is your mission. So your daily missions see uh, you just come here you get reward for logging in every day um, visit two dimensional doors you get a reward you know it tells what it is as you go on uh, weekly missions same thing it's what you can do weekly challenges see them um, as you build your way through the game and play the game you get this other these challenges and if you know capture 20 dark type ghosts then I get a hundred PKE crystals all right now I'm gonna go back there coins you use to advance your gun um, raise up runes which I'll, I'll go more and all this stuff as we go along um, and a couple other things pke crystals you need to level up your ghosts and it'll show as we go through stuff here all right now see i'm going to click on while i'm here i'm going to click on my my uh remote gate this is what you, you similar to what you get see that stop over here to the left of mine caddy corner that's a normal one this is mine you get a little more out of the normal i think um, now see I can't get any more standard traps because I'm full of standard traps so you hit receive and it gives you what it gives I got experience they're a good way to get experience good way to get PKE crystals good way to get um, ectospheres and other stuff traps I mean you name it they're, they're all but the other ones you usually get you know three or four things sometimes two but this one you only get like two maybe three on your remote gate it varies each time and then you go back now see the ghosts are here which we'll get to them all right now here this is your big one this is your menu you get your settings which changes different stuff through the game you know you can go through that the battle you know aim sensitivity i just whatever is normal i haven't even messed with it all right, then help. Now mail is where you get your daily logins. Now see, containment's full, so I can't get that one because my ectospheres, I'm full of them. Um, oh well, I couldn't get ghosts. Daily login. This is another one. Let's see what this is. Thirty of those keys. You use the keys for PVP battles and stuff like that. Different battle. 
PVP Arena Special Award. Received a special award. 400. See, I may have gotten something else, but my stuff's full, so I couldn't get nothing. Um, alright. That's your mail notices. It just tells what's going on with the game there. Login bonus. You know, daily. Log in daily because you get these different items. 5,000, 10,000 gold. I mean, coins. It's a good thing. Uh, ectospheres, all kind of stuff. Then you got your level up package, your stance, busting, busting bundle, stands, mega busting bundle if you want to get them. You can get them there. But like I said, I highly recommend at least the, the level up package because it gets you, really helps you out. And the screen's touchy. You touch the ghost symbol in the center, and it brings you back to your home screen. No matter, you know, like missions, you hit back, it brings you here. But it, if, once you open up, you hit that, and it takes you back there. All right, character and equipment. You can change your appearance. I just, I did whatever standard. A lot of people like to do that stuff. I don't. These are the one, the other two that are important. These are really important. All right, we'll go to build first because you, you build your traps. You just click on, and you can only have 100 of each. So I've got 101, 7, and 26. So I'm going to build those. It cost me 2,400 gold to build uh, to build the traps. Well, to build that number of traps, three. I mean, that's that's all you can build. You click the button producing, then you go to energy clip, balls and darts, so you can have 500 of each, and so I'm going to receive the ones I built, I built 30, I'm going to build more balls and darts, 30, it costs 750, and it, it takes a while to produce them, um, so that's your traps and your energy. Now here's another important, this is your weapon, build up your particle throwers, your main weapon, which is so you can throw traps out and catch the ghost. Shock emitter, boss and dart, mess and collider, all vaporized ghosts so you don't catch them. But you still get rewards doing that. And then your counter weapon is your proton glove. And you click on it, hit the research button. And pick this different stuff. You know, you start at the top and work your way down. See, now I'm here at 3 out of 5, the, the one in the blue. And I hit research, increase slow. If I had $5,000, I would click it and then it builds. Uh, it's like one, a, one every 24 hours or something. It's a, it's a long time. And that goes for whether you're on your main weapon or whatever. Now, see, you start off on your weapons all start off on one. As you can see, my bosom caster is up at 2. So that that's why I use it. It's stronger. I started out just building up different stuff. Wasn't sure. But the bosom caster is pretty good. The mezzan collider, I think, would be a good one to build up. Just because it's a fast shooter. It's got a line which automatically targets the stuff. So it's pretty cool, but... I went with the Bosun caster, and it seems to be the Bosun is the, the more powerful one. The Shock Blaster is slower. It's a dark matter pod. Uh, the Mezzan Collider, and it tells each, you know, which one. But the Mezzan Collider, um, I'll show you here catching the ghost on, give you an example of all these. That's your counter weapon. Your traps are here you can change your traps you just you got your four squares you can tap on one your your main weapons are your number one and number two and then and you can have like a bosun dart and the the shock blaster or whatever you know you have any combination of between those two and then your traps you just tap on it hit the wrong button i'm going to tap on the trap I've got seven advanced traps, so I'm going to hit the change button. And I'll go to standard, because I've got 101. And they catch, some with standard traps, sometimes it takes two, maybe three, to get the ghost. So, 
but your advanced trap master trap you get them a lot of them at the the uh, ghost portal so it it's you know I don't build them too often I just go off of that and I use standard traps a lot um, but like I said you just tap standard trap hit change and then go to it just like I did shock blast emitter we'll start off with that one and the particle thrower now see my particle thrower I build up to a three and see I hit the research button and it's a three and I'm just starting out on three those two as you can see and when you're getting higher up in the levels now see I'm over here on four and I hit the research button that's 30 grand in coins so it's a big difference and when I, I used my gems to go through because as you're building some of those you can speed up the process for one gem and so I used my gems to help build that up uh, leveling up I'm at a level 31 should be going to level 32 probably maybe in this video uh, because you get XP for doing stuff um, and the leveling up goes pretty quick catching ghosts is a really fast way to do it um, and you want to catch all the ghosts you can because I'll show you why you trade them in the next is your ghost collection now see these and you have your team settings once you reach level 20 you can have three teams see I've got two I'm not sure why you need three teams because you can only play one team at any given time but I've got one team that's my that's my beast right there Limmer that's my team too and you can have the same same people on the, the different teams Now, Ethan Kane, I came across him really quick. Some people come across different ones, you know, different times. But, all right, so I'm going to back out of there. Because if, if I click on one of these up top, then it wants to trade. So I'm going to back out. And I've it, they updated, I think. And there's so it, keep, it starts off with your team across the top. And I locked them all in so I can't delete them or change them you know that kind of thing all right so we'll just we'll go to the first one here all right when you catch these guys they're all level one most <clears throat> most of the time um, sometimes they're level you know, two or three or five it just depends but usually it seems like when you catch them See down here, I've caught all these and hatched them. They're all level ones, is what you start out at. So, I don't have duplicates of anything, because you don't need it. Like I said, you can only have one team at a time. Um, the S is for legendary. So, I keep, me myself, I keep the S's and any of them that I've leveled up I've kept so because I would see I caught these four up here <clears throat> now there's not that big of a difference between the, the C, B and the S I mean there is but there isn't you know stuff's just a little higher on the level so you got your attack, defense, HP, crit stuff like that um, we'll use this one he's a low well Come on, we'll go down here and get a level one. Here's the level one. All right, it starts out 369 for CP. That's your your combat points, kind of like uh, Pokemon Go. That's your your combat points. His attack is 137. His defense is 89 HP. You know all that stuff. So I can hit the level button, and here, see I've got 11,315. So if I take this, slide this over to the right then uh, it'll raise him up to level 20 and it'll cost me 1173 on there I'm not gonna upgrade that one because that's not one I want to upgrade oh, hit the wrong button all right so that's how you level up you level up once you re reach level 20 
you can go by the stars. One star you can go up to level 10, two, or, um, two stars is level 20, three stars is level 30, four is 40, five is 50, six is 60. Um, so once you reach the level, then you go here and you have to have this stuff. You have to have coins, the slime shards, element shards, and the PKE crystals to be able to, to upgrade from a level 20 to a level 30. And then you come back over here to the level, slide, slide your bar across, and boost it up to level 30. Then you have to go back to the rank. If you have enough stuff, you can do up to level 40. Stuff like that and to get them build up. I've only got 50s because I don't have extra slime shards of, that are, are fives. The five star ghosts are hard to come by. Next is skill. This tells the skills of each one. Increase attack, single target, um, single attack. Now, I'm going to back out of here and I'll show you. This blue guy up top, Blue Lou Maltieri. Uh, I caught him out in the wild. Uh, he was a four star, I think, when I caught him, if I remember right. And I built him up to level 50. So right off the bat, being a four star, I just had to level up, you know, to reach the level 40. And then, uh, then I went over to the rank and boosted him up. See, you got to have eight, five slime shards. I've only got one. And I got it fighting a boss ghost. Um, so see, his CP is 2328. And that, that's all I have with those. Now see all these pluses and minuses here? That's, all right, I'm going to hit his skills real quick. Increased critical rate. Single attack equal to 100% of attack power. 60% chance single you no know, so he he can inflict a stun which will stun characters and he's a really strong hit and you'll you'll get to see what I'm talking about now these green numbers these are the runes you can attach runes and you get runes by playing normal in the story mode you start off in as easy play your way through the whole story mode then you switch it to normal play your way through switch it to hard I'm on level five about three quarters of the way through and I can't get further I'll show you when I get there because my guys just aren't strong enough um, all right so your runes you put them in here and now see I can enhance but it costs gold I've only got 2690 so you use your gold to enhance your runes and it'll say sometimes it'll say failed once you get them up high high enough and you can keep hit it here and there you know sometimes it says failed sometimes it enhances it so it's that's a kind of a toss up there and if you get a few of the runes that are the same attribute you get special powers with them so but like this guy that's these runes you see one's a one well two of them are one two or two, you know, that's a three, different one, you have, there's a rune, slot one through six, and that's what these are, see, I've got all these runes built up, so what I could do, if I don't want to use them, I can go here, and I can, uh, you can sell, you can sell your runes, And I, I've just been hanging on to him. Now, this guy here will go to skill passes. He's got a leader skill. I don't remember if Blue Lou Maltieri did or not. Nope, he doesn't. See, he's just passive, normal, and special. This guy here, he's got crit rate by the team is increased by 15%. Now... I'm sitting here, and I'm pretty sure, see I've got him backwards, I've, I've got this guy because of hitting my button, so I'm going to tap that one, and 
and put this guy over here. I'm going to put him there and him there. All right. Because that, that's extra bonus for your team. Now see this guy, 2261, his skill, the whole team's defense. I'd rather have crit. Increase attack. Those there. Now see, this guy's got an attack that'll hit single target and single target. Uh, blue. That's single and single. I thought one of them attacked more than one. I guess not. Now some of them do. Um, some of the ghosts do. Chupacabra I got, he's a freaking monster. Him and Ghost of Christmas Past are monsters. And I'll show you as we're going through. Some of them have, some ghosts have um, special skills. Some, you know, leader skills. Some have other skills. Some are healers like Insect Trap. Um, Chupacabra heals as he attacks. Um, Ethan Kane heals as he attacks. Uh, some of the different ones. There's a lot of them Dixie does. This guy here, he can bring one of your guys back from the dead during battle, um, which is pretty cool. So that's that's a handy feature on them. Um, the lions, they're powerful. But these are all ghosts. I went through and started leveling up a bunch. Um, because I wanted to get as many up higher as possible just because. Um, Fu Fang, single attack. Uh, see, he's got an attack deals 80% of the power to all enemies. So one of his special attacks hits all four enemies. But the, the team I've got up here now, they just, they hit so hard. I got lucky placing the runes on them and stuff. You know, this was my first one with runes and some combination on there, boy, he's a monster on there. It's probably them fives and threes and stuff. But, and the runes, like I said, I just got them on the thing. Um, this guy here, his crit, he's got two three-star runes, but man, their they're critical attacks are monsters. And these are just some of the ghosts that I've gotten. Some aren't on here. Because like I said, I, I try to not keep duplicates because I don't want to use up all my space. The gins are powerful. Casa Obeki. I haven't used them yet. Uh, vampire Bats. A good one. Uh, Skinwalker's not bad. Foo Fang Strong hits everybody. The Ghost of Christmas Present. He hits everybody. I used him for a while. Um, Huka. She hits hard. Um, Think what else here? There's just so many ghosts. This guy here, Lotan, he's a he's a tank. He's got high high uh, HP. I mean, you get him built up, and his HP is just tanky. And there's another one which is June the Ghost, which I caught him at a five star. I got lucky. Now some of these I've hatched out of eggs and stuff. Chef Emmett, the forest, hits hard. Dixie heals everybody and hits hard. Um, Boghound, it's a tank. It's not very strong to me. Balloon Ghost is pretty good. Uh, this dude is a, a tank. Look at his HP, 28,000. He's a tank, but he doesn't hit as hard as my, my four up top, so I switched him. I've, I've held on to him because... You know, maybe I can switch these runes. But once you place a rune, it costs money to switch them. Grundle is a beast. Uh, Sandman puts all four, up to all four of them asleep at once. Washington Square Ghost, I got lucky and got. And uh, I haven't used it. But see, it's a level one, started out at 347. So you can tell your stronger ones. You know, some of the level ones that you catch will have a high CP. So you know... Those are the ones that you're probably going to want to want to use. Zombie Taxi Driver looks cool, but he's, he's weaker. Echo stuns people. Um, Moe or whatever. I just got it. Um, started boosting it up.
see there's a living light or living armor light uh jing Shi, pretty cool the water the the lions are four stars to start with fenris is three stars lotan's three stars to, so if, if you catch the higher one see when when you trade them in all right now see i've got you know lotan's up here see there's a, a 30 lotan see i know flame dragon and see i've got them locked here I'm gonna click on Molly because I don't wanna I don't wanna stink use that one or lose it. But I usually keep the a lock on the my, my ones that were kind of a stopping point that I don't wanna trade off. Alright now, egg ghost, um, all these others down here. See I caught a whole bunch of them. Whole whole bunch of them. A lot of ones and two stars, stuff like that. So I'll show you what what I do. When you catch a ghost, you get points for doing it. Plus, you can trade it in depending on the star. If I have, if you just vaporize it, you get a shard and other stuff. To me, it's it's less that you get, but you it's you have to spend a trap to get these. So. I hit that, it's not one I want. I hit this little circle button on the bottom right. And that's what I get for destabilizing. Besides, when you catch them, you get HP and other stuff. So, I'm going to destabilize it here. Because I get the 100 PKE crystals, the slime shard, and the other. And cash, or coins. Now see, that was a 1 star. Uh, here's a 2 star. He's not bad when he's built up strong. See, he's 200, 1800, and, and a level 2 shark. It goes by the, the stars. Um, that's a 2 star. Uh, where's the 3? Where's the 3? Alright. Low tan. See, you get 800 PKE and 2300, and then a level 3 shard. You get whatever the stars are, you get a shard for that. And to level up the characters, it, uh, and it asks you, you know. And if you do accidentally hit a, a higher level, it asks you, and it pops up with a warning on it. Um, I don't have any 4 that I want to trade in. But like this level 3, see when I rank, you got to have 3 or 4 of the level 3 shards to go to level 4. So that's what you use your shards for. Alright, so that's your ghost. You kind of move around, pick, hit, and miss. I gave you a handful about the ones that I have here. A lot of them I haven't used. Abba, uh, Abaya, looks cool. Like I said, Insect Trapper, I used it for a while with Ethan King because Insect Trapper heals all four. So that's always good to start. But then I started getting more powerful characters and stuff. So, alright, next is your echo, Ectosphere. See, I th this is all that I have is those. So I'm going to hit the get button because it's, it's done. I hit the get button and it popped up with a gremlin. Alright, now. I click on this unconverted and convert. Now see you can do 72 hours. It's it takes you can see 12 hours there. So I back out and go there. So now I'm going to my ghost collection because those those little information looking exclamation points that means something's new. The gremlin is new on there. And as you're able to level up them it pop that same symbol pops up your ectosphere it's kind of like the eggs in pokemon go the tobin guides like the pokedex and i'll flip through here i've got 109 out of 150 i guess that i've gotten i don't have them all in my my deal yet now see there's a a lot of the same mock, dark, light, earth, fire, water. 
a lot of them have that the golems have have that and stuff so I mean there's a lot of different versions see I've got Christmas future Christmas present but I didn't get Christmas past I don't know which one it is or where it's at I didn't I missed it I guess that Eshmaki he's he's a powerful one Jogger Ghost is powerful I mean once you build them all up to get them up to level 40 and 50 they're all it's just different stuff that they do and uh, so that's that and then you can change it by class or name or whatever inventory this is what you have on hand see I've got three double XP's um, standard trap phantom keys materials now when you fight your, your big ghost like chairman Wellesley spirit shard you get a shard sometimes when you beat a, a ghost a boss a boss ghost <laughs> See, I've got five held. You have to have 40 to make one of them ghosts. Once you have enough, then you can make them. So I'm, I'm ways away from everything. On them, except for Mirror Shard. That one takes five. I've only got two. So, um, see the Moai Spirit Shard? I can make one, but I, I've already got the ghost. So I don't need to make one. This guy here, the Samhain. He, uh, he knocks all four players dizzy or whatever you call it. Um, so he's, that's him. Uh, and then your elements, your shards that you need to boost them up. Now see, um, this Moai Spirit Shard, I've already got one. So I'm going to hit the sell button. You can sell them if you don't need them. You can sell them and get PKE crystals. But these others I'm trying to get the ghost for so I'll keep all them I had more but I sold them now your runes this is where you sell your runes you know like a one star rune you know I can sell it and get 500 bucks two star rune 800 bucks so it goes up as you go I, I don't really want to sell anymore right now without looking at them and knowing what they are but that's your levels your phantom keys you use here all right so while we're here i'm going to click on these are the ghosts that are here i'm going to click on this all right that's it for part one video um i'm going to split these up so they're not crazy long so that's it for part one here um thanks for hanging out and hopefully it helps you out throughout the game um i'm gonna stop this video and then start the next one here like and subscribe thanks for hanging out